climate change is just a humongous um, society global issue. The trees can't migrate north fast enough. The climate is warming way faster than maples can move and apparently they're already dying out on the southern edge. So if the climate warms up a little bit, maples are gone. Um, we are pumping more carbon dioxide into the air than we are absorbing. By 2025, conditions will warm more than they have in the last 100 years. The alarming part about climate change now is it's happening so damn fast. By 2050, conditions will warm more than they have in the past 1,000 years. We're getting to the point where the atmosphere is now becoming toxic. We've had a historic number of fires uh, so far this year because of the drought and the, the potential for catastrophic wildfires has been higher than they've ever been. Given the continual human clearing of forests, the world is continually changing and it, it's never going to be the same as it is today. It's never going to be the same as it was 10 years ago and it's certainly never going to be the same as it was at the turn of the 20th century. By 20. 2100, conditions will warm more than they have in the last 100,000 years. Our fire seasons now are 60 or 70 days longer than they've ever been before. We're actually seeing a lot of the early onset climate change happening now, and that's severe weather. Severe weather means hotter hots, drier dries, colder colds, wetter wets. The really heavy downpours that we're seeing more and more of. I mean, really intense downpours are a reflection of a changing climate. And on top of all that, uh, you know, the last time the world was two degrees warmer, the oceans were four to six meters higher. The local conditions are changing, and therefore the species that are native to that area uh, begin to suffer. I'm more worried about exotic pests. But the bugs are an unnatural problem. They're much more widespread and they're killing many more trees. When it's warmer, the insect enjoys uh, greater survival in the winter time and also its uh, generation time speeds up. When we have our insect and disease outbreaks, even from the na natural insects, they seem to be much more intensive, much more widespread than what we've ever seen. By 2200 to 2400, conditions will warm more than they have in the last 100 million years. That's since the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much racked with worry about climate change. I don't know how to say that any stronger. I'm racked with worry. For most of the time, I've been what you could call guardedly optimistic. I have a lot of faith that people will do the right thing. But then I have to admit that uh, now I'm not so much a guarded optimist as a scared optimist. And I'm an optimist because there just isn't any other way to be.
Well, another thing that I feel very passionately about is people understanding that uh, we've reached a time, a condition in the world where we we really have to engage with these ecosystems. You know, we've we have assumed dominance of this planet, better or for worse, and we have the obligation to do our very best in terms of our knowledge, our resources, uh, to work with these systems, to sustain them and then sustain the biota uh, 